Something that is disturbing that I've heard about it is linking those developments to the fact that a Fulani man is president and so he is brooking such kind of evil acts. I think that is very unkind. And I'll try to back my position with statistics. In 2013 particularly, there were nine cases of herdsmen invading communities in Bedway State alone and more than 190 people were killed. That was in 2013. In 2014, there were about 16 of such tragic developments with more than 231 people killed. And then there was a change of government in May 2015. But between January and May 2015, there were six attacks which left about 335 people dead. That was between May, January and May 2015. Now the question is, during that period, did we have a full and a president? This is showing us that the issue of herdsmen attacking settlements, attacking farmers, attacking communities is pure criminality and is something that government must deal with. It is the duty of government to preserve the lives of the citizenry. It is the responsibility of government to maintain law and order and that this government is determined to do. Therefore, let nobody say that all this is happening because we have a Fulani president. We've had many Fulani presidents in the past. And this issue of herders and local communities being at loggerhead it, it has predated this government. But I would just like to appeal to Nigerians that the Muhammad Buhari government is determined to crack this issue. It's determined to get to the bottom of it and it will get done. Thank you.